Hello guys and welcome to another new video. In today's video we'll be teaching you how to service your car. Uh, today we're specifically doing it on my S15 but um, the principles are pretty much the same for any car. So you're just going to have to be a little bit um, looking out for what you've got to do if you have a different car. So what you want to do is you want to start off by starting your car and running it for a little bit so that way the oil can warm up and it will be easier to uh, to flow out once it's um, reached a warmer temperature and that way it will make your oil change a bit quicker, a bit smoother and tools you're going to need is going to be a uh, jack so we've got two of these, one on each side and we're going to lift the car the whole front of it up and um, that way it'll go up evenly and we can just put some stands underneath it later for safety measures so that while we're under the car we don't die you want to make sure you don't die that's a very important um, we'll follow this up by the actual parts that you need so you're going to need a new filter and you're going to need some spark plugs if you want to do a proper service um, you can also service your car by just changing the oil and not changing the filter or the spark plugs um, but we want to do a proper service like a full service so i'm going to put new plugs and i'm going to put a new filter if you're not sure what filter you need, you can go to your local uh, car shop. So we're in Australia, so you can go to Repco or Super Cheap, and they'll be able to recommend a filter for you. And um, the tools that you're going to need is uh, something like this. So this is to help you loosen the oil filter if it's too tight. You're going to need a socket set, and you're going to need uh, screwdrivers. You might need screwdrivers. We'll, we'll get to that later. So um, let's get started. So I thought I'd just show you before we go ahead. Our oil filter is located on the side of the car down here. Um, it might be a little bit hard to see, but if you if I zoom in, you might be able to see it. It's that blue thing down there. That is our filter. So we'll need to replace that. Um, we'll probably be able to get to it from the bottom. We'll figure that out once uh, we get the car up. And then our spark plugs are underneath the, um, the cover here. So we'll take this off and... Yeah, you guys will be able to see what we're doing. Okay, so the car's up to temperature, so now we're gonna start raising her off the ground. Okay, so we've just gone and raised the car. As you can see, it's been lifted up a bit. Now, um, next thing you wanna do is you wanna come over to the top of the um, engine bay and undo your oil fill. So this is what it looks like on my car. Yours might look a little bit different. So just untighten it and take it off this way the oil can flow through the engine a little bit better and um, it can breathe while it's uh while it's draining into the into the pan or whatever you're draining it into so i'm just going to put this to the side while um, we drain the car and once you do once you've done that you can go underneath it and um, we'll show you what you need to do so let's go down under the car i might need to take it out of the uh tripod so once you're underneath the car you want to see, um, you'll have this thing called a sump. So that's this part here. Um, on mine, it's a little bit different again. Um, normal cars might have a plug on the bottom that's just a screw. So with mine, it's up here. I'll, I'll zoom in so you can see. So this is the, um, the plug on my car. You just unscrew that and the oil will come out. Um, on some cars, like I said, it might be actually underneath it, coming out from the bottom or on the side or something. It's usually at the bottom somewhere. So crack that open with um, your sockets and put a bucket underneath it to catch the oil or put you know something underneath it to catch the oil because you don't want to be dropping this stuff on the floor it's not good for the environment it's not good for your driveway it's just not good so make sure you do that and um, we'll get to draining it now okay so just an update what we've done we've put the bucket underneath the um, where the, where the um, sump plug is which is that that nut that bolt that we need to take out to drain the oil and we've also put like a bottle underneath here as you can see to sort of um, funnel the oil that's going to drop out of the um, out of the oil filter so if you're not changing the filter then you can skip this part with the um, funnel just make sure you put your bucket underneath the sump plug um, otherwise if you're doing that try and funnel your your oil into the bucket you don't want to drop any oil on the floor because it's going to be a pain in the ass to clean up but um if you do oh well 
Okay, so we'll go ahead and crack the uh, the bolt now on the sub. Yeah, but it's not like it's. It, we're not doing that yet. No. All right. So for my car in particular, it's an eight mil socket. I mean, sorry, it's an eighteen mil socket. So we'll just whack it on and loosen it off. Alright, it's cracked. Here comes the oil. So you have to be careful here. Make sure that you sort of hold the nut so it doesn't so it doesn't fall into the bucket because then you're gonna be fishing it out of old oil and you don't wanna do that. So careful. Maybe I don't know, can you bring them under so we can show them how we're doing it? I zoomed in. Oh did you? Okay. That's pretty close. Actually you wanna know a trick? What? Put pressure on the bolt so like towards the like you know what I mean? Like hold it in place and put pressure towards the oil pan and like hold it there until it's fully unthreaded. And how do you know that it's fully unthreaded? There you go. And then quickly oh shit. Yeah, we missed a bit. Alrighty. <laughs> And if that happens, you need to wipe it up with a rag. But wipe it up quickly, otherwise it'll go into the concrete. <sighs> We're back, we've just gone and removed the filter from down here. Took us a little bit of time to uh, actually get it out. So here is our new filter, and this is the tool that we actually use to remove it. So how it works is you stick the filter in there like this, or you pretty much stick it on the filter like that. And then you get a socket spanner um, in there. We ended up using, um, where is it, the, like the swivel, this swivel thing here, because there's not really much room and you only need a short extension. So we swiveled it and we eventually managed to get it off. Um, thank me later when you use this and you save yourself a headache. <laughs> so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the new filter in. So what you need to do is you need to remove this and you need to put some of the old oil around the seal to lubricate it and seal it up. All we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab the um, old bucket of oil And oh, all you need to do is dip your finger in the oil and get a little bit on your finger and just rub it around here to lubricate it up. And you want to do this so that it actually sits properly in the engine because it needs oil in there. Okay. And um, yeah, make sure you do that and then we can go and put the, the filter on now. We've got the filter here, we're just going to whack it back on. So put it in the tool that we showed you earlier. We're going to use it to tighten it up. It should really be hand tight, but we'll do it a little bit tighter just to be sure because you don't want the thing to fall out while you're driving. That's the last thing you want. So come around here, I find the best way to do it is going through from the side here. And just around. And then you got to guide it to the hole. Is that where the hole is? Right here. I think I filled a hole. Oh, you want it? Yeah, perfect. Just make sure it goes on straight. I think it's going on straight. Yep. It looks straight. Alright, done. And then do it as tight as you can by the end. Come on. Do it with his hand. And we'll just crank it on a few times. Here. So, um, what we're going to do now is we're going to fill it up with oil and work on the spark plugs. Um, so, we're going to make sure that we um, fill it up. And then crank it over without actually having the spark plugs ignite so we just do that by removing the coil pack um, and that's just to get oil around in the filter and everything so that it lubricates everything so this is only for you people that actually like did a full oil change um, including filter if you didn't do that then you're fine if you just topped it up or whatever you know if you just dropped the oil and topped it up then it should be fine for you to just start it all right i've shown you guys in the past how to remove your uh how to remove your coil packs um, when we've done a diagnostics video on the coil packs so i'll link that up the top over over where is it here i put my um, card up here so you can see um, but apart from that we'll just quickly speed this up it'll be like a 10 second thing and then we'll continue from there okay um, but essentially what we're doing is we're just removing the nuts uh, the bolts that are on each coil pack so there's four coil packs there's four bolts your car might be a little bit different um, you might even have a distributor so you won't have coil packs on your car if that's the case and you have a distributor well then just pull the plugs out just like that they won't be fastened down like these ones here all right and out it comes so just put them all to the side so that they're not um on any spark plugs 
try and face them away from metal that way that they don't arc on anything if they try and uh, ignite and then 16 millimeter deep socket yep make sure it has a magnet on it so you can grab your uh, your sparky boys and a bit of rubber and a bit of rubber too and we just drop it in like so and do a twisty twisty lefty loosey remember lefty loosey righty tidy um, are my spark plugs out here? I'll go get them if you want to continue. Okay, so these are the plugs that we're replacing them with. So they're NGKs, they're Iridiums. So these are supposed to be the best plugs you can get. Um, it's so you don't have to change them for a long time. And these ones should already be gapped appropriately for my car. I did look it up, I can't remember the gapping at the moment, so you will need to um, look that up, but... Oh. What? Well, the rubber that was inside the socket is now stuck on one of the spark plugs, so we can't get the plugs out. I'm going to need a magnet. Right, well this is the part number for um, the spark plugs that we're using. Uh, we've just got a little problem we're going to sort out now, so we'll be back in a moment. So just for comparison, old versus new. Uh, so the new is on the left, the old's on the right. You can see they're not too bad. It doesn't look like there's like um you know too much going on. It's just um they're old and worn. So we're gonna swap them out with new ones. Iridiums are supposed to be great, so hopefully they work well. If you have air compressor, you can air compress the holes so no dirt or anything gets into the cylinder. Don't stop. Oh, no, I'll loosen it up way, I just didn't come out. Can I fill it up with the wheel? Yep. Okay, so now that we're done with uh that um, we're going to go ahead and uh, put the oil in the car so you may have noticed us struggling a little bit that's because um, the actual tool that we're using is absolute garbage and we need to get a new one so that's nothing to do with the car just that so undo your um, oil cap take it off and then we'll go feed the oil in now I've gone and made a funnel you might want to do the same if it's hard for you to get oil in your car for various reasons so just pop that in here to make your life a bit easier and then when you're pouring the oil you can pour the oil into your funnel so we've just finished putting the oil in so you can take your uh, cone out or whatever you want to call it your um, funnel and just put it to the side and you want to put your uh, cap back on now to seal your oil fill area and um, once that's done, we're going to leave the coil packs out again so that we can crank it over and get some oil through the um, through the, the filter that's down there. Now we've checked the dipstick, the dipstick, and it's in a it's in a decent range. So we're going to crank it a few times. That way we can get the oil to flow through, build up some pressure in the filter, and um, then we'll put the coil packs back on. We'll make sure that the dipstick is um, at a good spot, or we'll see if we need to top up or not, and then we'll start her up, and um, away we'll go. We've gone ahead and we've put the car back together and um, we're just going to check the oil one more time so if you have a look at the dipstick uh, you should see uh, an oil like sort of fuel so let me um, get the spot so I can show you um, try and see there on the dipstick that there's like a H and an L to show you low or full if you can't see it yours might have it so you'll be able to see it better on yours just look for the H and the L so once it gets up to the H that means that you've got enough oil in the uh, in the car so you don't want to go over the H just that the H is fine and then um, you can go ahead and start it up so we've gone ahead and put the rest of the car back together we put the coil pack cover on and uh, we've also put over the strut brace again so now we'll go ahead and crank the car and uh, you guys will get to listen to it So this will be the time when you look for leaks, see if there's any leaks under the car.
can't really see it on camera but there's no leaks it's fine um, check yours run it for about 10 20 minutes make sure there's no leaks and then um, you can call it a day hey guys so I actually just realized we didn't seem to film an outro for the video so I guess I'll be saying it now thank you for watching the video and everything did go well after we um, obviously started the car as you can see from the last clip we took it for a test drive and um, it, it was running well it was running great actually felt better than before so um goes to show what our service and some spark plugs can really do for you guys so i hope you guys all enjoyed the video and please make sure to rate comment subscribe and stick around for more if you enjoyed it peace